I want to see your first impressions. So you may be on red, you may be on amber, like some of those questions you can answer. You may be on... Maths green. teacher Vicky Let's Inman is testing some headline assessment for learning techniques. Could you Traffic lights and no hands up. You, you think you could sort of do it, but you're not really, sh you're not absolutely sure. And a red traffic light means I've got no idea, I don't get it. We've got a whole range of answers here. We've got people who think they can, people who really aren't sure. And that's fine. OK, great. Put it down. Look at this. See part one. OK. Right. 25.73 to correct to one decimal place. You look at the next number and you say, is it five or bigger? Does anyone know the relevance of that question? Hands down. Vic is using traffic lights together with the more controversial no hands up policy. There's some very enthusiastic students there who are dying to speak out and they find it boring if they can't. Um, so they, I expect they do get frustrated. 4.9 here in. As a teacher. Lavinia? Um, is it because um, if it's below five, then you go down, and if it's above five, then you go to the next level up? She said that really brilliantly. So you sometimes resort to picking them because you want the lesson to move forward and it often can be that five or six students will have a dialogue with the teacher all the way through the lesson and that the other 25 will sit dormant. If you have no hands policy then it changes everything because they suddenly realise that they might have to answer a question whereas before they knew they could go to maths and just sit there and do nothing. They don't necessarily like it but at that point when you've asked a question you've got every single student engaged in thinking what's the answer I might have to answer it. You've got your hand up. Okay now we're going to move on to our second objective. So we're going to round number. Lavinia? Um, is it because um, if it's below five, then you go down, and if it's above five, then you go to the next level up? She said that really brilliantly. Is to significant figures. Here's an example, right. In a football match, one day on a Saturday, 43,786 people went there. <coughs> And often they'll be giving the football results and they say there were 44,000 people attending. Why don't they say on the news 43,786 people went there? Why don't they say that? Why don't they say that, Mariana? I'm not sure. Okay. And they must be petrified. Oh, she's going to ask me and I won't know and there'll be silence and it'll be awful. And that's where phone a friend comes in. So you give them a, you might give them a few hints. You might be able to bring that child to the point where they can answer the question. But if not, you take the pressure off and say, OK, why don't you phone a friend? Why do they all sort of say 44,000? Do you want to pass it on? Meet the students where their needs are and so that they're not getting totally left behind. Um, and there's probably a, a bigger place for assessment and learning in maths than uh, any other subject, but I don't want to chop at my own subject, but it's crucial and it's brilliant.
phone a friend. Karen. Karen. Will it be hands like, down? Will it be like uh, they want to round it up to the nearest uh, thousand? Those are the words, aren't they? We round it up. So do you see where rounding comes in? But is it really worth frustrating the vocal enthusiastic students for the sake of AFL? The more people you talk to, the more you hear, I hated maths at school, I couldn't do it. And I think it's all about good teaching. Show me a colour. I show believe everyone can do maths. Show me a colour. Far Mark, too many people, one. they've just got left behind. Colour. And the teachers were not aware of where they were with their learning. And on it went, and they hadn't grasped it, and on it went to the next subject, and they were just left behind. OK. With a traffic yes. light, you... they haven't got to say anything. All they've got to do is choose a colour. The rest of the class can't necessarily see what they've got. And the question is, is whether they should be small enough to fit in your hand so that you could do it privately if you wanted to, although some people want to create a culture of red being OK. And it is OK, so that's what we have to work on. But it means that every child responds to the teacher and you know, which is just a massive leap forward compared to a set of blank faces. They liked the fact that we did no hands and traffic lights. It made the lesson a bit different and that's what they, they thrive on variety. Petrified, oh, she's going to ask me and I won't know and there'll be silence and it'll be awful. And that's where phone a friend comes in. So you give them a, you might give them a few hints, you might be able to bring that child to the point where they can answer the question, but if not, you take the pressure off and say, OK, why don't you phone a friend? Why do they all sort of say 44,000? Do you want to pass it on?